So this is how our British summer is looking, and this is why I haven't been on any walks since I got down here. Um, today I am going to be setting up listings for Vinted and Etsy so that I can unvacation my shops a couple of days before I come home. And hopefully we'll sell a few things, so work never stops. Um, but it's been quite quiet and relaxed here, um, but I'm always working, there's always little things to, the, to be doing and... You know, I'm sorting out money and admin and checking websites and stuff. So, this is Saturday morning. It's Monday morning. Had a bit of a slow start today. Mum was going up and out early-ish like going out at half nine and my mum is high maintenance so I couldn't get into the bathroom until like 10 to 9 this morning. I spent most of the weekend um, photographing and uploading items to my vintage store because my mum's given me a ton of stuff. My friend gave me a few things and I was there on Friday. And I thought, if I can get that up now, then I'll be up and running. I can set my store off vacation mode a couple of days before I come home. And then if I get sales, I'm rocking and rolling straight away. So you get five days to post something. So last night, because I'm home on Friday, last night I relaunched my store with all the things in and I had an offer in about 20 seconds on one particular handbag that I've listed for my mum but it was an offer it wasn't a purchase so I declined that because I was taking the mickey and then I switched off because it was late and in the morning I'd had three more offers all equally taking the mickey and then one person had just come in and outright bought the bag for what I put it on for so that cancelled out all the offers so this morning I'm off to the post office now I've had to change my location and check what's available because where I live I have every available postage option here there aren't as many so I had to knock off the ones that um, either aren't convenient, like they're too far away, I'd have to drive two or three miles to get to them, or I don't have at all. So the store is now running with the options that exist where I am for the moment. And then when I go home, I'll relaunch back in my proper location. And I think I can do this. So I've got a digital uh, address thing and hopefully the post office in the village where I am will be able to print it out. I've done those before back home where someone's only sent me a digital label. But I'm assuming it will work here. So, here I am. It's just after nine o'clock, about quarter past nine. beautiful Monday morning. <laughs> My parents had held on to a load of packaging for me, so big jiffy bags and paper wrap and bubble wrap and stuff were in suitable supply. So that's good. And yeah, hopefully this will work. And if I can sell a few more things while I'm down here, there's less stuff to take home. time that I've been down here has been more expensive than usual so I had that dentist appointment which came to 72 pounds and um, I bought some new walking boots on Vinted well they're not new they're almost exactly the same as the ones that I really like um, look like they're a really good neck and I've bought those on Vinted and they're being sent to 
one of the, the pickup lockers where I live. Now I have uh, three days to collect. I didn't realise that when I ordered the item. Um, and I'm hoping they drag their heels on the delivery because I am, it's now Monday and I get home on Friday. So provided it doesn't arrive at the locker box before Wednesday, it won't get then taken out and sent back. I didn't realise they only left them in the boxes for three days. I had in my mind it was like seven days or something. So fingers crossed it won't arrive at any great speed. But she posted it on Saturday. I didn't realise how quick off the mark she was going to be. I bought it on Saturday afternoon and then by the evening she obviously has like in post locker boxes and it was off. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't arrive before Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Um, so they've cost me, I think about 18 pounds. They were about 15 quid and then once you've had the buy protection fee put on top by Vinted and the postage, this is why the prices go up. So that bag I've sold, I listed for a fiver, which is cheap for what it is. But because of the size of the postage, it's cost a total of like 5.95 for the postage with the buyer protection fee, which of course the buyer pays for. So I've sold a bag for a five, but it's cost them over a tenner for something that's second hand. So you can't really complain and you've got to really know realistically what you're going to get for something. And that's why I got haggled down to three quid on the bag. But um, I've put everything on slightly higher so that people get a chance to haggle me down. Hopefully, bags don't usually sell very well. I know why that one's sold, it's because it's leather. Um, so, that's why. But I'm the one making the money on it. So, it's a fiver to me. Right. I'm going to go into the post office, I'll catch up in a bit. So that worked well. Sent. I love that little local post office. Although they don't have a huge number of services on your doorstep like I do at home, because I'm sport for choice back home, they have enough. So you have the, the every shop, which you can print out your own labels, or they'll also do digital, which is great. So I go in there with a QR code, on my phone and they scan that and they print out the label. Could have printed the label but I've had to have used dad's printer and I don't want to impose, so to speak. Beautiful morning. Can you see this? On the village green. We're looking forward to hopefully some slightly better weather this week. The weekend was shocking. It was rain, sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, non-stop. And of course, Wimbledon kept getting rained off. And the Formula One, because Dad's into his sport and I don't mind watching with him. So we watched the Formula One at Silverstone. And they were changing tyres every five seconds by the looks of it. And then we watched the last of our British players bow out of Wimbledon. Not a good year. Um, I'm rooting for Alcaraz now because he seems like a nice guy. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, it feels really warm here today. I don't know if it's going to last. I think it's going to rain tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, we wanted to do a little family trip out um, whilst I'm down, but We've been at the behest of the weather, of course, but Wednesday looks like it's going to be gorgeous and about 22 degrees. So we're going to go and look at, it's a house and gardens that's not far from where we are. Um, so hopefully the weather will hold up and we'll get to have a little family trip out, which will be nice. We don't often get to do them. Um, yeah been productive. I listed a ton of stuff on Vinted. My mum had 
left me a bag full of handbags that she hadn't used. Look, some of them looked like they'd never been used. That's my mum. Um, my friend gave me three pairs of jeans, which I've listed. Um, I'll add a link to my vintage store below in case you're interested. And uh, because I've bought those new second-hand walking boots, which I think will be good, I'll test them out when I get back on my first hike, because uh, I already have my first hike planned for when I get back. And then I can, I'm can i going to have to bin my old ones because that glue isn't holding up and those soles are falling off the bottom. And I had another look at the other pair that I brought with me, which were the other shoes, which I'd bought just before the other ones, and for some reason I didn't like. So I tried them on, and they're just not comfortable. It's weird, because they're a half size, so they're seven and a half, which means they should be a more comfortable fit. And they're Timberland, and they're proper leather, waterproof, and they look almost brand new. And they've... They clearly didn't work for me, and I've had them at the back of the cupboard and not worn them, probably thinking, I will wear these again at one point, and I didn't. So I've put those on Vinted. So hopefully they'll, they'll sell, and then the money from those will go back towards um, paying for the ones I've just bought. So that will kind of work itself out. Ah, oh, yeah, so 72 quid I've spent on the dentist. I've spent nearly 20 quid on walking boots. I'm going to fill up with petrol tomorrow for my return trip. That's probably going to cost me about 40 quid. It's turning into an expensive trip away. And I'm going to buy a couple of things on Amazon, I'm sorry to say, because I still have the rest of that gift card to use. I need a new printer cartridge for my printer back home because thanks to Universal Credit, I've had to print out a ton of receipts again for my review which is now the 26th of July and so the cartridges for that cost about 17 18 quid and I need more teepee brushes which are the little dental brushes for some reason I've run out of those which never happens um, so that's going to cost me like almost 30 quid expensive month. Right, I'm walking home. Uh, I've recently done a post which you will see. Oh, it's probably the next post coming up, I think, I'm not sure, uh, about the drip feed method for making your savings work for you. So I spent a lot of the weekend sorting out bank accounts, opening new bank accounts, shifting money around because um, you need to get every penny that you can at the moment. So, uh, that's been my weekend, busy, busy. And we'll see how busy we are this weekend, this, the rest of this week. So, I'm off home now, I'm just trying to beat the dog walkers. And, uh, yeah, good day. Productive start, which is what we want. Catch you later. Bye-bye. So, my parents have popped out. To run a couple of errands, so I thought I would show you what my friend gave me when I went over to hers last week. Um, I knew I was going to get this, um, it's surplus to requirements and it probably needs a bit of fixing. But I thought I would show you my new gadget. It's a Kenwood mixer from the 1970s, possibly even the late 60s. Um, it's got a slight issue on it, which is that the dial, it does work, but it does slip. So it, you can see the way it moves. Um, I think it is a standard thing that tended to go wrong on these after a while. It is repairable. I've looked online and it's really easy to get the spares for these. It comes with some accessories. so. Here's your very own meat grinder. I can't see me getting much use out of that. And there are a few... Um, can't get them out. Can't remember. There are a few um, heads for it. Um, and it basically works. Now, whether I keep it, I don't know. I've never had a mixer. I've never used one. And I don't even know if I really have the space or the 
inclination to use it, but I'm going to take it anyway. Um, it belonged to her mother. And I think she's still got her grandmother's up in the loft as well. But she said I could have this because um, her husband bought her a new one for her 50th back in May. And um, so I thought it might be a good challenge or at least give it a go, see if it's usable. And it might be a good gadget to have. It might be good for some recipes. I'm used to doing stuff by hand, but, you know, maybe this will be a bit of fun. There's something else which my dad has given me, which is a hand whisk that belonged to my grandmother. Um, made in the USA, it says. I think it's from Connecticut, and I'll show you that at some point as well. The other thing that I've got is this. which is hard to see from there. Um, my friend, she restores and upcycles furniture and she completed a project and ended up with some pretty good, high quality slabs of wood and she's made a couple of breadboards. Um, she's kept one and said, you do want the other one, it's not worth trying to sell them. So I have this incredibly heavy, really thick uh, new breadboard. I use wooden boards at home anyway, so that's a new thing so I'm taking back so much stuff as is always the way uh, <laughs> I never go home empty-handed that's for sure but it's people like passing off their old stuff and I have to get better at saying no when I don't want things I'm hoping that this um, this Kenwood mixer is a good asset to my kitchen I'm not sure but I'll give it a go and we'll see how we get on with it so today is Tuesday, um, the last 24 hours, 36 hours for me has been a bit rubbish, I've got one of my terrible headaches which ruined the rest of my Monday, couldn't do anything and I blame it on the alcohol. My parents say when I'm not there they don't drink, <laughs> but having a, a little drink before dinner in the evening seems to be something they slip very easily into when I turn up and I so I, I'm not entirely I don't entirely believe them <laughs> and I reached my tipping point um, a couple of nights ago and the headache was just a joke so I'm off the booze now completely I don't drink when I'm at home so I, and I'm a terrible lightweight anyway and the hormonal headaches that I occasionally enjoy these days are often brought on by not enough sleep and too much booze so if you're having that problem give up the booze get better sleep it can work wonders for you um, I've had a bit of a mess up on my vintage order so I bought my walking boots and the girl I bought them from was really on the ball so she must be like me live over the road from an, an, inbox, uh, an in post locker box or something and it said it will take, uh, so it's being processed, haven't been picked up yet. Then it was picked up and it says, I think two to five days for delivery. And it's turned up this morning, Tuesday. It arrived at my locker box in the early hours of Tuesday morning. And now I only have three days to collect or they're gonna turn to send it back. So I now have to go home a day early because I have to collect this parcel by Friday at 4.55 a.m. Yes, in the morning. So instead of coming home Friday, I now have to come home Thursday or that parcel's gonna go. Because I'm coming home a day early now. It's just one of those things, you know, what can you do? Um, it's not the sender's fault. Um, I've never ordered anything from Vintage like that. So I didn't really know what to expect with the times if I'd ordered it and had it sent to my parents while I was there, you can bet your boss of dollar it would have turned, wouldn't have turned up by the time I'd left. So, anyway, so a day early, it's not a big deal. So I'm now cramming stuff into one less day, which is fine. So today's Tuesday, it's raining as always, but it's not cold. I'm off to Sainsbury's to fill up the car with petrol and get some uh, bits and pieces from Sainsbury's for my mum who needs a few things and um, 
that's pretty much my day. Weather is looking good for tomorrow still. Fingers crossed because we're going to have a little family trip out, which now is our only day because I've now got to go home the next day, which is Thursday, which is even nicer. <laughs> so that means in the two weeks I've been down, we've had one really nice day if tomorrow holds up. Hey ho. Meant to add, I sold a second thing on Vintage, one of the pairs of jeans that my friend gave me has sold. They didn't haggle, um, so I've dropped that off this morning. So that's two less things and a little less packaging I need to pack to take home, which is great. I've also already reopened my Etsy store. Um, my dad had found a bunch of tools and bits and pieces that he wanted me to try and sell for him. Um, some interesting bits and pieces, a mixture of stuff for cars, I think maybe motorbikes, some vintage door hinges, all sorts of fun little things that my dad's never going to use. So I've listed those on, um, on Etsy and links below to all my Etsy stores and my vintage store in case you want to see what I'm selling, in case there's anything that you're after. If you're a carpenter, I have all sorts of woodworking tools still left for sale, mostly drill bits and stuff like that. Um, the door hinges I'm hoping will sell. They're rather nice, but my dad has no use for them. So it keeps me productive. I'm quite looking forward to going home actually, because I'm really looking forward to getting back to sewing again. Now my little studio has been altered and is more usable and I've been planning the dresses that I'm going to make once I get back and if you've been following my business YouTube channel where I do a behind the scenes of the stuff that I make and all the, the trials and tribulations of having a very small handmade business you'll see some of what's going on there with those new uh, dresses that I'm putting together so I'm looking forward to getting back and getting cracking with that so it's weird, I'm not usually excited about going home and I'm not like really excited to be going home but I have a focus for it, I'm getting cracking on that. If the weather holds up, next week I'm hoping to start hiking, start hiking again. Um, I have five hikes already planned for the rest of the year all weather dependent of course so um, keep watching my little channel if you like the hikes I do I know some people really like these and I try to focus on you know nice quiet countryside not too much talking looking at nature looking at the history of some of the places I go it's really interesting so I shall keep doing those as and when I can get out and when the weather allows ideally one a week but we'll see how we go so do um, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with when those are coming out because you'll get the, the notifications um, for when those go live they take a while to edit sometimes I've got three or four hours of footage to edit and it can take a while sometimes, so just bear with me on that. I've done my Sainsbury's run. Um, I've got something for myself, which was rather fun. So on Checkout Smart, which is one of the cashback apps, they've been doing a, a freebie for a couple of weeks, and it's always up, just up for one day, and I can't get it on my local Spain Sainsbury's, but I've been to the big Sainsbury's here, and they had it. And it's a posh thing as well. So it's one of these St. Pierre brioche loaves, 500 grams. That's £3.65 for that. I'd never buy that normally. And check out Smart are doing it for free. So I got that and I thought, well, I'd like to get that on nectar points, but I could only get £2.50 of it. But I also need potatoes for when I go back. And white potatoes, which were also offering nectar points on my nectar card, 
um, they were £1.35, so £1.35 and the £3.65 for the loaf makes £5. I came out not spending anything on my shop. So that's uh, a rather good second week. Um, and that's pretty much it. So here we go. Heading home again. Two weeks goes so fast. And it's a glorious day today as well. I don't think it's going to hold. <sighs> Back in three months' time. But for now, taking the usual route back north. Excuse the light, it's very sunny outside and not in here. Um, so yesterday being our last day, we got the weather and we went and did our little outing. And I'm going to make a separate post about it because we went to an old historic garden and house, although the house isn't open, it's being restored at the moment, and it was just so amazing. I was so jealous. I just, <laughs> I wanted that garden. It was stunning. So I'm going to do a whole post on it because I did lots of recording and photographs of these lovely little woodland walkways, and the plants were amazing, and the place is so well looked after, and. Um, I think there's enough there for me to do a nice, not a hike, obviously. If you like nature and the countryside and the peace and quiet, I didn't do any talking on it, so you'll just see what I saw. And I hope you enjoy it. I'll get that up at some point fairly soon to try and keep it chronological. Um, and that's it. I'm heading home. Um, I ended up selling three things on Vinted while I was away which was fantastic slightly less stuff to bring home and because my parents hang on to their packaging for me um, there was lots that I could use to package which was great and I sold something on Shopify a couple of days ago so I'd have had to have been coming home today anyway because I only have a three-day turnaround on my Shopify store that's the standard I can't change that and I have to pick up my new hiking boots by the early hours of tomorrow morning. So it's kind of worked out and I've only had to come home a day early. It's not been catastrophic. So you just get on with it, don't you? So, heading home. Lots to do when I get in. there we go that's it so <laughs> we'll see you at the other end I guess